A bill making its way through the state house caught our attention today. The bill aims to create free range parenting. And if your imagination conjured thoughts of kids wandering aimlessly around the yard of the neighborhood like chickens on the Boise bench, well, then you can see why it caught our attention. Free range parenting, a way to protect parents who want to give their children less supervision and more independence. As you probably have just as many questions about this as we do, I'm sure, as of just reading through this. So Kim, Kim Fields, she sat down with the bill's sponsor, Republican Representative Ron Nate of Rexburg, to learn more about it. The press is dubbing your bill free range parenting, which I've got to be honest with you. When I think of that, I think of children running loose and running wild and running free. Is that the intent of your bill? What is the intent of this bill? Well, I, I hope they don't mean it that way because, uh, you know, when, when I hear free range, I think free range chickens, you know, what? Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, right. uh, but this is uh, really, I like the title reasonable childhood independence. Um, I grew up in a time, I think uh, uh, a lot of us older folks grew up in a time where we, we'd walk to the park and have fun with our friends all day. You know, we'd play outside, we'd go to each other's homes. That's not just nostalgia. That was about uh, making good adults out of kids, you know, because they, uh, they learned some independence. They learned how to get around. They learned how to be responsible for their actions and, and to plan for a day even. And so those activities, uh, they seem to be diminishing. And we want to make sure that parents can feel comfortable to let their kids engage in those kind of independence building activities without the fear of being accused of being uh, neglectful or, or in the extreme, even being charged of being neglectful. So we're just tightening up the, ne the neglect definition there to make sure that reasonable independence activities are clearly allowable under law. Give us an idea and an example of an independent activity and, and what age would be appropriate? Yeah, th that's a very good question. And so we're careful not to put ages in the bill because obviously how long you can be left home alone as, a, as an eight-year-old is much different than how long you can be left home alone as a 17-year-old. Some examples would be, you know, can you run into the store and get, get your gallon of milk or whatever you need without having to drag all your kids into the store? Can you leave them in the car for a few minutes? Can you let the kids play outside unsupervised for a reasonable period of time? I just wanna clarify though, Representative, uh, your bill isn't saying to parents, hey, leave your kids alone while you go grab a beer at the pub or while you go run some errands. I mean, are you afraid of, of maybe some negative implications that this bill could bring and that it could be used as a defense in a legitimate child neglect case? Are you concerned uh, at all about that? Uh, no, I think this, this strikes a, a better clarity in the language. So it sounds like representative, you're doing this for the parents, but then also for the children. You believe that this is gonna make them become better independent critical thinkers as adults? Absolutely. So this isn't just about protecting parents. It's about uh, giving kids the opportunity to grow into responsible, healthy adults who, uh, who are um, productive members of society because they've grown up in an atmosphere where they, they were able to, uh, to grow and learn. Well, I have to say, I don't think I've heard about any parent being charged with child neglect for running into the store for milk or letting their kids play unsupervised. And Representative Nate, well, he couldn't think of a specific incident either in Idaho, but he said he's heard about it in other states. Representative Nate says he'll be talking with Child Protective Services and law enforcement to get their input on his bill. But so far, his colleagues in the House State Affairs Committee, they seem to like it. A hearing date for this bill has not yet been determined.